Money Management Personal Financial Planning Why is financial planning important? Financial planning will give you a solid foundation for making all your financial decisions, big and small, now and in the future. There's many benefits of planning. First, you have more money, you know how to use the money to achieve your goals, and you are financially secure. You have less chance of going into debt you can't handle, and you can help your partner or spouse support your children or the lifestyle that you want to live. Your financial goals need to be realistic, specific, have a clear time frame, and help you decide what action to take to actually achieve those goals. When you are developing your financial goals, you need to actually write your goals down. Studies show that people who write down their goals are three times more likely to achieve them. Financial goals. A financial goal is very specific regarding the amount of money needed and the time frame needed to accomplish it. A goal may be as straightforward as being sure of having enough cash to pay the rent at the first of the month. It can also be very in-depth regarding your retirement plans and how much money you would like to have during that time period of your life. There are three specific influences on financial planning. First, life situations. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're going to have children. Maybe you plan on moving out of your house. There's different life situations that are going to impact that. Second of all, you have personal values. Maybe you value an education and plan on going to school after high school. And then economic factors such as the inflation rate, interest rates, and things like that. There's various goals and activities for different stages in life. If you look at the left, you have your life situation. So a young single adult may have goals such as becoming financially independent, obtaining career training, developing a savings plan, or carefully managing their credit. Young people with no children may want to create an effective financial record um, keeping system, implement a budget, carefully manage the use of their credit, and develop a savings and investment program. Couples with young children may want to purchase a home, obtain adequate health and life insurance, start a college fund, and make a will and name a guardian for their children. Single parent with young children may want to obtain adequate health, life, and disability insurance, make a will and name a guardian for their children, and establish an emergency fund. Middle-aged single adults may be more likely to contribute to a tax-deferred retirement plan, evaluate and select appropriate investments, accumulate an adequate emergency fund, and review their will and estate plans. Older couples with no children at home may plan for retirement housing, living expenses and activities, obtain health insurance for retirement, and review their will and estate plans. Net worth statement. A net worth statement reports the market value of your assets and the balance owed on your debts at the moment. Assets are anything that can quickly be turned into cash. So your liquid assets may include your house, your car, things like that. Investment assets are going to be um, if you can cash out stocks or mutual funds or bonds. And then current liabilities would be maybe what you owe on your credit cards. And long-term liabilities may include your mortgage. Budgeting. Budgeting is really important. It's a plan for income and expenses over a future time period. Typically, a budget is created for a month and f or a year or a specific time period. Reasons for creating an, a budget include increased awareness of financial priorities, to identify tendencies to overspend, and to identify budget items that need to be adjusted to be more specific. And then tips for creating a manageable budget include being realistic, allow for some fun, use categories that apply to your situation, track expenses and round figures, and then track your credit card interest expenses separately from purchases charged to your credit cards. So you need to make sure that you are choosing categories that are going to apply to you. If you are talking right now in your life budgeting, you're probably not going to have a mortgage that you're responsible for, but you may be planning for further education. So those are some things to consider.